Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to the House of Tone. My name is Wesley. I'm a professional band instrument repair technician. That's what it says so on my ID card. <laughs> I appreciate you stopping by today. So in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit more about critical valve alignment. If you'll remember, or if you've seen another video that I put up probably a year ago, maybe even longer, uh, this video was dealing with the height relative to a piston instrument as it pushes down on the ports so everything critically aligns. And there are several different companies and things that do this kind of work. And I believe in that video I was showing doing it using a 3D printer and an O-ring. Um, and I, that's a pretty cool way to do it. I also machine spacers out of uh, plastics or brass. Um, and then use different shim stocks. And so we've kind of talked about that kind of thing. I had two projects actually crazy. Two different brands, probably 30 years apart in manufacture. Both have the same issues uh, in the past week. It's weird how things go in cycles like this. So instead of a vertical critical alignment, we've had to do a horizontal side to side alignment and so let's take a look at that all right let's jump on in so we've talked about this before the second valve and being able to easily see and we talk about our alignments here so let's zoom this in and how we want proper alignment on the downstroke to you want your spacer to stop at this position Okay, but we've got severe side-to-side -side movement as well as a clacking. And so what happens is, is it, number one, it makes a bunch of noise, but number two, you see you're getting all this play. Or what's happening is that the valve guide itself is loose and worn in the slot as well as the slots in the horn are worn. You could put another guide in there. However, they're pre-cut to the slots that are already in that piston. So what we've done, I've teamed up with Aldape Design. We are machining valve guides out of a super slick material that we can replace. So we're going to drop this one in real quick. Get this old guide out. Slide this over, round it. Got the the spring cradle all done inside, so everything is exactly the same. It's just a little bit larger. Now look, there is no play in the guide. Piston goes back in the horn. And let's zoom this in. First thing you'll notice is there's absolutely no side-to-side -side lateral movement. And if we zoom in on that piston, there's no play. Bring it down. There's no side-to-side -side movement. So that the ports are in perfect alignment both vertically and horizontally. And then we go from clackety clackety clack to quiet and so you have a better feel for the player and it's not noisy so that's a pretty cool thing that we're doing so what we found with players around that I've done this for is that there seems to be just as much importance placed on the lateral alignment as well as the vertical alignment for your valves um, to get the best response out of the instrument. That's a pretty cool tool, although they're not mine. Quick tip, it's always good to have somebody that's got cooler tools than you've got so you can go to their shop and play around. <laughs> but seriously, I wanna thank my friends at Aldape Design for helping me do this and help me get what was in my head out. 
So this is a service that we're offering and we're doing and we're cataloging all the different pistons and guides that, uh, that we're doing for these valve guides and they'll end up showing up on our website um, either as standalone units or this will be a service that you could have your instrument sent in and have us do uh, make for your instrument. So there you go. Pretty cool stuff. The valves are super slick. There's no loss in tone, uh, focus, anything like that. The guides don't wear out. These guides don't wear out and break. They're not nylon like some of the other brands of uh, the manufacturers are that are out there. So this is really tough and durable material. Um, it's like a Delrin kind of a deal. Uh, so it's just super slick and super strong. So, so far so good. So I'm gonna get the rest of this work done. I just wanted to show you that. I thought all the people out there that are into the alignments and stuff, this is something that you might wanna check out. It's a, it's a really cool thing. Okay, have a great day. I'll see you next time around. Thanks for the support. This is Wes Lee signing out.